Alright guys, what's happening? It's your boy Worst Heavy Gamer and we're playing some Idle Heroes today guys So let's check it out what's been happening in my account since last time I saw you uh, Taking a look at the events right now, we had the Profit Summit event and I already did all fi I finished the whole thing, alright? So everything is done, I saved up a lot of Profit Orbs and I ended up doing this event I didn't even have to spend any money, which was pretty cool And the Fusion event, I've killed this as well guys, I've killed the game completely But I was so unlucky in the Profit Orbs let me just tell you, I didn't get jack shit. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the team right now. As you can see, my Demon Hunter is 9 stars, which I'm pretty happy about. Because that's the only thing that I actually got from the Prophet Orbs. That is it. Just the Demon Hunter. But Andy, look at all those 6 stars. Um, If you're asking, my team looks a lot better. It doesn't. All, right? all I pretty much did was 6 star everybody I had. They're still level 1. Just because of the event, alright? Um, now, let's take a look at my latest, greatest hero that I got, Vesa. This chick is incredible, but I didn't get her in the Profit Orb. So I spent 120 Profit Orbs, guys. Literally 120 Profit Orbs on right here on the Forest uh, Faction. And I did not get one Vesa. I literally just got one Demon Hunter out of all those. But I did get crazy lucky somewhere else, which was the Casino. This is actually where I got my Vesa at. Uh, I had a lot more coins because of the event So if you did the profit if you did the fusion event you can see you can get one casino coin and I ended up getting 10 I did the spinning wheel thing with Vesa and freaking hell. Yeah, I got her. I was whew, I literally jumped out the bed um, I was so excited to get her because I really needed her my team composition right now is looking pretty good But I'm still adjusting to a lot of things in order for me to get Demon Hunter now to 10 stars, which she probably will be my first 10 star in the game. I'm kind of missing a couple of ingredients, so I need one more Demon Hunter, as you can see. I have, I can use any one of these, that's why I 6 star 2 of them. So I guess I can use Starlight for the sacrifice there. And then I'm going to need one more 9 star uh, hero, guys. So the goal is to kind of go for Melassa, 9 star Melassa. Because I'm pretty sure I should be able to 9 star this girl the easiest out of everybody else. And then use her to sacrifice to make Demon Hunter 10 star. I should be able to do it uh, within the next couple of weeks. Hopefully, depending on what the events are looking like. But I really, really just want another Vesa right now. Uh, my boy Ass Model. This guy is a beast. But he's going to be almost insanely hard to 10 star. That's kind of why a lot of people stay away from the light and dark factions, guys. I have the two new heroes, Faith Blade and Amuvor, both at six stars. I'm only using Faith Blade on my team. He's a beast, but the problem is, like I said before, ten starring a light star hero is very difficult. Takes a lot of resources. It's very hard. Ten starring two of these bitches, it's incredibly hard. So um, I don't know if that's the direction I want to go with. Maybe I should just go with three. Fortress and three forest factions, which a lot of the people in my arena are doing right now. So anyways, let's move on Let's go ahead with the dailies guys Aspen dungeon has just been unlocked So I'm gonna go ahead and put some heroes here. I literally could go really really far in the Aspen dungeon just with my Sigmund He's a beast, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use some other heroes here Somebody else that does really well is Where is he? Bloodblade. The problem with Bloodblade is he's only five stars. I need I definitely need to store him up a little bit more so I guess using him at this point right now, he might only win one battle. That's pretty much it. And uh, I guess just one battle is all I need. So I'm just going to go ahead, use Faith Blade, and I'm going to go ahead and use him. Just because there's six stars, right? Now, let's check it out. Smash done. So a new feature they added. This They didn't have this before since the last update, guys. They, they pretty much will smash through the first stage so if you are in easy mode they'll smash through if you unlock normal mode and if you unlock normal i guess they will smash to the next tier which is sick this saves a lot of time that's kind of why i'm showing you right now i'm really excited about this mode right now because you i'm automatically jump to normal one now if you go into here you can actually check out what you missed and if you want to buy it or not and taking a look at these guys this is actually not a bad this is great because for the price 1,200, 1,200, that's about uh, 2,500 right there. That's how much it literally takes to open 10. You know what I'm saying? 10 summon scrolls. So this is a great deal. I'm going to buy both of these. In the long run, you end up winning. Believe me. So that's a good buy. Let's take a look at here. 
So uh, the scrolls I'm going to buy, I am not going to buy a four star hero for 500 gems. Stay away from that guys, that's a rip off, don't buy that, you don't need it. Now let's take a look at here, now these are actually not bad buys, you can, I think, you can go ahead and buy all these here. Yeah, you can go ahead and buy everything because everything is such at a, you know, cheap price that it's worth it, in my opinion. So I'm just going to go ahead and buy everything here. These are the best buys, the best deals that you can get in the game actually here. So since I've been upgrading all my heroes, the problem has been, I've been really low on coins. I never thought I would say it because I had millions and millions. I was at 70 so. I was literally at like 74 million at one point not too long ago and all of a sudden now I am at an all time low. I'm so pissed. Now let's go ahead and take a look. Do a couple of these battles here and see how my boy Sigmund does. Sigmund and Freud. Ooh. All right. Boom. There we go. We got our healing. So we should be okay here. I won't do too much. Just a few more rounds here just so we can kind of see how long Sigmund can actually survive. Oh crap. What you don't want to do is let him die past half at this point. I'm going to, I'm just going to go to a quick battle here, guys. We don't have to check out the battles every single play, but. All right, look at that. His health is pretty low right here. I'm going to have to heal him up here. Let's go use the heal. I really don't want him to die because he's kind of my, my main hope. He's the hope that I've been waiting for. Ooh. So as soon as he goes, let's see what's this. Um, this is not a bad buy either. Let's go ahead and buy that as well. All right, let's move on. Let's move on from this dungeon here. All right, take a look at the friend list here. Let's claim our friend list. Let's see if we've got something for ourselves. Scouty Dowdy. Nope, nothing there. But we do have ten, so we should really help out. So let's go ahead. Let's fight here. So this is the team that I'm going with, guys. The Aura. Eleven percent attack, thirteen percent HP. I don't mind this aura at all. This is actually a pretty good, you know, aura. The only one that I could probably go with, uh, not Abyss. Where is it? This one? Nope. Nope. Shadow? Nope. Where is it? Is it this one? Probably this one here. Fortress and Forest. It was right next to me. Uh, the bonuses are a little lower, but this one is a pretty sick aura guys because uh, we already know forest got a lot of really good heroes fortress has got some sick heroes as well so that's probably the one that i'm going to end up with in the long run because it's going to be hard until i can pretty much 10 star my light heroes and that's probably what i'm gonna have to do 10 starring light heroes is the problem all right let's check it take a look at the damage here segment is a beast demon hunter second best here um everybody else is not doing that great so Let's just keep going. Alright, these are good because you can just skip them all. The damage output is usually exactly the same, guys. That's the good thing about this game is you're pretty consistent with your damages on bosses. Not all the time, obviously. RNG still has an effect. You know what I mean? But overall, it'll be consistent. You know what I mean? Okay, let's go ahead. Let's, let's skip right through this now. All right, so there we go. We finally beat her. Boss down. Let's take a look at the next boss. Ooh, this one is not that much. So let's take her down too. And this is a great way to get some gems. Always do your friendly bosses, guys. This is a great way to do your uh, to get you know gems plus a lot of goodies that you're gonna have, you know coins and some, I guess, items. But they're not the, the items are not that great. The coins is where it's at though. You really, really, at earlier levels, you really need the coins. Marauder is dead. All right, so we only got two more challenges left here. We took down two of them, and this is our last one. We're not going to be able to take him down, but it's okay. Because we definitely chipped it down a good amount. All right, here we go. That's done. Let's go ahead now. Let's claim our prizes. 80 gems and 80 gems. See? Easy. 160 gems right there. You can get... Another 100 gems from the free uh, gems that you get at the top just by watching a couple of videos. You get uh, some another 100 gems here. So, you know, daily, if you play it right, you should be able to get around anywhere from three to 500 gems. If you, you know what I'm saying, if you do it right. So, getting gems is not the hardest, you know, thing in the world in this game. Now, gem, you know, management is different. 
managing your gems, not blowing them everywhere you want to blow them at is different. I got some casino coins there. Let me check it out. I'm at 483. I really don't need to buy any more for now. So I'm going to wait because they always do casino coins for gold as well. So you might as well use your coins instead of gems for this one. And believe it or not, I have never gotten the freaking five star hero here. I mean, I did get it once when I spent like 500 coins. But other than that, I've never really been too successful. The good thing is i am saved up a good amount of coins. I'm hoping that in the near future, maybe this week, maybe next week, the event will be coins. That would be sick. Uh, what else could I do? Let's see if coins is the next event. I'm good with that. Uh, profit orbs is this week. I really don't want another profit orb event. Obviously, we just finished the fusion event. I don't know what as what else kind of event they could have uh, that I would actually really you know do good at because right now uh, maybe a summoning event. Not not summoning as in summoning because I'm so low on gems, but summoning as in you know what I mean. Sometimes they do you know summon two light, two dark, three forest, three fortress. That would be a good event right now because I'm saving a lot of these heroes for that. And I actually had a lot more, but I used them all for the fusion event. So that kind of blows. Now let's keep going to dailies here. Forge. Let's take a look. I usually forge the rarest item that I have. And right there, one. That's three. Three a day is good enough. Tavern. Let's take a look at the tavern. They just had a tavern event not too long ago, but hmm. All right. I'm going to save this one, and I'm just going to do a couple of these ones really quickly here. Boom. Just to get them out of the way. Alright, that should be done there. I'm just going to do the four star ones for now. I'll do the other the other ones later on, but for now, just the four stars should be fine. And then when those come around, that will be done. The minus, we don't need it yet. Let's check out the summoning. So I have to do a heroic one right now. Alright, this is what we get here. Four star, dark hero. Hey, that's actually not not a bad pull at all. So I'll take that. I'll take that any day. The basic summons, I'm not going to do that yet. Better off you wait, guys. Don't waste your summons. We'll wait on those. All right, next up is some arena battles. So let's take a look at how we're doing in the arena, guys. Number two in the arena. That's how you do it. I'm not that far for number one either. So hmm. I've actually been dropped. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead. This is the number one guy right now. The ice blink there. Nine stars, that's pretty dope. Rosa. Okay. Let's not face him. You want to take as... You don't want to take too many... What the hell is this? Well, this guy's only got one hero there. Let's see. We'll attack him. This will be easy win. Don't know how many coins we're going to get out of it, but we'll take the win. Boom. Eight coins. Okay. We'll take it. Next battle. I guess we'll take this one on. It doesn't matter here. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. If we win this battle, then we're automatically number one. Hmm. Boom. That's how we do it. This um, Yo, I'm loving this team, guys. I'm loving it. So good. Demon Hunter is killing it right now. Yeah, number one rank. And I also got one more here. J Mac. Oh, no. This guy's on my... He's on my... They're on my server. I mean, on my guild here. So, we don't want to face them. How about this? Hmm. Let's go ahead, guys. Both newer heroes there. Fate Blade and Amovar. Let's see if we can take this guy down. Okay. Okay, there we go. Amovar is dead. The Italian is dead. His tank is dead. Oh, this is a kill. This is an easy win. Boy, I'm loving this team, guys. This team is incredible. Boy, wow. So, that's the team that I'm running with just to show you guys one more time. If I All I'm looking for now, obviously, is Vesa and Ass Model. My boy Ass Model is a beast. I really need another one. Uh, the monster I'm running right now is the new monster. Rocky, Rocky Kaki Saki. I rock it, sock it, cock it to him. Loving this dude. He's a beast. Okay. Moving on up. What is next? Basic summons. Some campaign. Let's claim my goodies in the campaign. 
Oh, I can actually add one more hero here. So let's go ahead. You know, we can add Melissa. Why not? Maybe if I could take out the Italian, take her out. But you and you. Higher power rating. Probably will give me better results here. So let's go ahead. Events. All right. Looks like this is the last one we're going to do here, guys. Boom. Just a quick run of the dailies. I might have to add in Vesa because she's my latest hero. And switch up my... I used to run the Fox, but I'm running my, the, the, the new pet there now. I ended up switching up pets. I like him a lot more. I like his Petrify. I like his... Um, I like his abilities a little bit more here. There we go. And that's it. So after I'm done with this, guys, that'll be it because... Just showing you guys a little progress on how the team is looking, keeping you up to date. The event won't be out until Thursday. Today is Tuesday, so we got a couple more days till the next event comes out. And, you know, we'll see what the event entails. But for now, this will be it for Idol Heroes. Hope you guys enjoy that. And I'll catch you on the next Idol Heroes episode, guys. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon. Your boy, Worst Having Gamer, signing out. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace, everybody.